Ready headlines? Roll headlines. The AARP is teaming with Walgreens to offer free screenings to those without insurance. The success of the Angels and Dodgers has fans on campus buzzing about a potential freeway series. The third annual LA Chocolate Salon visited Pasadena to show consumers all that chocolate can do for them. Welcome to Valley View News, I'm Adam Levin. And I'm Joyce Azuri. About a dozen CSUN students and faculty members gathered on campus to protest budget cuts and the impact they're having on the campus. Does anybody out there care? We don't need silent voices, we need action. Organizers of the event told students about Assembly Bill 656, which will help fund California universities and community colleges by charging oil companies to take oil and natural gas from California's land and water. Students say the cuts are personally affecting them. We are getting educated. We're doing the difference, but no one else is out there helping us. So I think that it's important for um, education to be a priority in this country. And those of us who are here trying to get um, more opportunities and experience that are supposedly going to help us in the real world, we don't have any jobs guaranteed for us after this. In fact, most of the time, the, the degrees don't even help us that much. The Director of News and Information of Public Relations at CSUN says that the campus is also being affected. The system as a whole was forced to cut up almost half a billion dollars from the entire 23 campus system. That translated to us about $41 million. Unfortunately, education, particularly higher education, is not at the top of the priority list of nearly all of our elected officials. Meanwhile, some of the students say they will continue protesting until they see changes. The economic downturn is forcing students out of the university system and into community colleges. Claudine Sarmiento reports from College of the Canyons to talk about their recent influx in student enrollment. At College of the Canyons, pathways are busier, hallways are more crowded, and parking is harder to find. That's because enrollment has risen nearly 5% in two years and the numbers are expected to grow. A study by the community college system estimates that COC will have almost 37,000 students by 2017. I have seen many more students uh, by any measure that you want to take, whether it's the parking lot or people trying to get into classes and adding classes and so on. Here's where the school's numbers stand now. This semester, 25,000 students are registered at COC. That's more than 1,500 more students than the previous school year. These numbers, combined with other junior colleges, make up the nearly 3 million students in the community college system. But a rise in enrollment doesn't necessarily mean good business for community colleges. This English class is at full capacity with 40 students and had 16 more on the wait list. Despite the noise, one professor says he hasn't had a problem with his students. They, can't be there without they come to class prepared to make sure another willing student doesn't take their spot. Professors are also working twice as hard to manage their increased class sizes. They try to get to their students. They do have like time segments. You can't spend too much time with them. So when you go in, you really want to have your questions ready and know what you're ready to ask them. Students and professors agree that being in a crowded class isn't the biggest issue. The problem is getting into the class. COC eliminated about 12% of their classes because of budget cuts. With the constraints put upon us, I think College of County is doing an outstanding job of trying to uh, take care of everyone that walks through our doors, even when we unfortunately have to say no, but we try to do something else with them. The school is devising even more plans on how to deal with increased enrollment. Accelerated programs have been created to help students graduate faster. COC will be expanding this library and other facilities to accommodate the population boost. In Valencia, I'm Claudine Sarmiento for Valley View News. UC's engineering and business undergraduates may face an increase of their tuition as early as next month due to the economic crisis. If the plan is approved, students will have to pay $900 more in addition to the $2,500 they are paying each quarter. UC officials say that these two fields were chosen because salaries of their faculty members are significantly higher than the rest. Also, they say students majoring in these fields tend to land well-paid jobs after graduation. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger has tried to work out a water deal for California. He delayed signing more than 700 bills from this summer's legislative session to pressure lawmakers to improve California's inadequate water system. Legislative leaders are having a hard time compromising. Water conservation and balancing water rights are two of the main issues. He pushed for more reservoirs and a controversial canal to improve a water storage and distribution system built in the 1960s. 
Passing a water deal that includes a bond needs a two-thirds vote in the legislature. The L.A. County District Attorney says he's cracking down on illegal medical marijuana sales. Steve Cooley says almost all dispensaries and clinics are selling the drug illegally. Current medical marijuana law requires a doctor's prescription. But Cooley says over-the-counter sales are too common and violate the law. Cooley and City Attorney Carmen Trutanich say only pharmacy sales should be legal. Raids on the dispensaries have started and medical marijuana sellers and buyers are angry. They say marijuana has been proven to help people with eating disorders, pain, seizures, and more. American Association of Retired Persons and Walgreens are promoting good health throughout communities. Tara Nowlin reports on how they are offering free health care to the public. It's a simple prick of the finger that could result in better health. AARP and Walgreens have teamed up and launched a tour to promote wellness throughout communities. This bus here in downtown Los Angeles is offering free health screenings to the public. The tour hopes to reach out to underserved areas and people without insurance. Tour manager Arturo Sanchez says it's important people take advantage of these screenings. Both AARP and Walgreens think that um, early detection is the key to staying healthy. I mean, a lot of people haven't been to a doctor in years. Uh, I've had consumers that haven't been to a doctor in 15 years. The tour offers six different tests. In the first area, medical technicians take a small blood sample to read glucose and cholesterol levels. Blood pressure is tested next, along with body mass index and waist circumference. These tests will help tell a person whether or not they are overweight. Bone density is also screened. An ultrasound of the heel shows technicians how strong the bone is. After completing the six screenings, the consumer is given a printout of their results, showing them if they should have any concerns about those specific areas of their health. Los Angeles resident Leon Wells says the screenings are good for the community. Because, uh, lots of people don't have health care, and this would be a good place to come. And you can also you know, get a pretty good idea of um, what situation you're in as far as health goes. The wellness tour also offers free flu shots to the uninsured. Anyone without insurance can come up to the bus and receive this voucher. This voucher is good for a flu shot at any Walgreens clinic. Consumer Nicole Means says she didn't come for the screenings. The idea of the free flu shot is what brought us here. So, and I don't have insurance, so it's really very helpful to, you know, to be able to get it for free. In Los Angeles, I'm Tiara Nowlin for Valley View News. President Obama has yet to settle on a new plan for the war in Afghanistan, and some officials say the country's institutions are deteriorating. He huddled with his national security team to focus on General Stanley McChrystal's request for 40,000 more troops. White House officials say all options remain on the table. Vice President Joe Biden wants more special operations teams and unmanned drone aircraft. Senator Carl Levin says the focus should be on training Afghan forces and not sending in more U.S. troops. Officials say a decision could be weeks away.